Hello everyone and welcome to the Chinese Grand Prix here for Formula Xbox Season 7. It is Round 3 and we are at China of course today. Last time out in Bahrain it was a superb last averse victory in effect for Azar Reactions after he had a no qualifying penalty but he ran through the field after a race on battle between Galvanic Game and Luke for the lead. It was Azar who took them both on the better tyres at the end and managed to come home. With a superb victory. In qualifying. There was a bit of a surprise. As Galvanic Gamer taking his second pole position in a row. Maybe that wasn't a surprise. But what was surprising is that he decided to set his lap on the super soft tyre. Deemed by most people to be the worst race tyre. Most of his rivals are on the soft tyre behind. And that includes second place man on the grid. Azo Reactions. And third place man Luke. Who is looking to bounce back after... What he admitted was a disappointing result last time out in Bahrain. Azar and Luke, probably the big favourites here going into this race. But with Galvanic on that super soft tyre, he could provide um, an interesting blockade which could enable drivers behind to uh, catch up. And that's what they'll be hoping to do early on in this race. A difficult race on tyre. Well, that's why most people have gone for the uh, middle tyre, which is the meet, uh, soft tyre. Looking to go for a two-stop strategy. Galvanic probably going to struggle now with a two stop but anyway we're getting into the race now and we're on board with Luke who is in third we've got Nor in fourth so very good qualifying by him on the soft tyre and we have five lights now and it's lights out and away we go looks like a pretty good start from Nor on the inside there you can see his indicator house going alongside Luke already and it's been a good start from Azo who's on the inside of Galvanic into turn one Luke being careful round the outside Nor's already passed him into third and here's that like, says our reactions at the front Going up into first place, so it's been a dream start for Azar. And Luke, considered probably by Azar to be his biggest rival in this race, is down to fourth place. The minor midget is all over Luke now as we come through to the hairpin using the slipstream. Can he look up the inside maybe of Luke into here? He's not going to. Luke looking to break nice and early to make sure he doesn't hit into Nor. But it's been a dream start for Azar Reactions. They're going side by side through there, but I think Azar held on. Now looking at the back, was only Carnage behind. We're on board a Kev, we've got a pretty good start. Of the inside of Perez into turn one, it looks like. Can he make that stick? Keeping it round the outside, and look, there's a bit of contact there between a, a Renault, and that's Perez off as well. Renault and um, looks like a full Cindia, a Vapiku, and yep, yeah, so a bit of contact between Casey and Vapiku there, and that was Perez going well off. Kev also picked up a little bit of damage in that incident, so we can see it from Sam's point of view, see what happened here. He was on the outside of Casey going into turn one, so um, I know he saw a bit of carnage behind with Perez, but. We saw him being very conservative into turn one as Midget slightly cut across Casey there, which put him into Vapid. Sam's gone off into the grass as well, which isn't going to help matters for him. Casey in sixth place, decent start from him. And Sam is up the inside of Vapid Coots, so Sam's in seventh place. Not a bad start from the Ferrari man. After what was, um, I'm not sure, a pretty poor race, I think, from him in Bahrain. But Vapid Coots has dived straight up his inside once again. Another great move from the Force India Gumball with Feely. See what happened, hopefully, in the back here. See what happened to Perez because we saw him on the grass. And going into turn one, Perez just maybe looked like he dipped it very wide. Oh, major lag. So I don't, didn't realise there was huge lag there involving Perez. Feely got caught up in it as well, but he managed to keep the car on the track. And um, wow, that's so unlucky for Perez to be his race ruined pretty much by lag already. He's absolutely going for him. The whole field seemed to jump back, and Perez has been the one. That that has uh, cost the most for him and Devil now at the inside of Feely into the hairpin. Feely though getting a very good braking with a great exit from him. Now we're on board a drastic midget who's at the back in 14th place. Only Perez behind him. And he's looking at Budgie. He seems to have a bit more traction, a bit more pace than him. I don't know, got in 12th place and not the start he was looking for. I'm not sure. I think he might qualify qualified at the back, but still not great for him. And Budgie has turned him very late on midget though. He up the inside surprisingly into that corner midget. Has not had the good best of starts. Now bored with Budgie. See what happens here. He dived to the outside. Probably didn't really see Justin Midget until it was a little bit too late there. So that's unfortunate. But Budgie is 13th and he's gone very wide as a result of looking back. But now on board with the leaders. Azar has not got away at the front. We've got Galvanic Gamer being hounded by Nor into turn one. What can Luke do here? We can see the best view from fourth place. Mike Midget still out there. And look at Luke going up the inside of two cars here into turn one. This will be a tremendous move if he makes it. He's on the outside of Nor into turn two, giving him enough room. Can he get a good exit? Nor looks like he's got a better exit than him. 
that are lagging well there. And Galvanic Gamers looking around his outside as well. So Luke, having made up two positions in that corner, has already lost one. He's now diving up the inside of Noor, but he won't be able to get that move done. So Luke up to P3 and Noor up to P2. Galvanic Gamer, unsurprisingly, on those tyres, the one that's losing out. So we've got Sam now looking to retake Vapid and he's gone down his inside. Vapid trying to hang it around the outside but he can't do that and Feely looks to have gone through on Vapid as well. For, so Vapid losing two places at the hairpin and can Sam stay ahead of Feely? Feely looks to have got a pretty good exit out of that final corner. He's going to get good slipstream. Now down into turn one. They're going to go side by side. This is going to be fun into turn one. Can Feely hang it around the outside of Sam? I'm not sure where he is. No, it looks like he's backed out of it. So Sam maintaining P7. And Casey in P6, but what is that? Oh my goodness, absolutely huge lag instant for Sam there. Feely is, looks to just lag straight into him. And Sam's been span round through no accord of his own. And absolutely gutting for the Ferrari man once again. Seems to be plaguing him lately, lag moments like that. So on Sam's screen, um, Feely dropped behind him. On Feely's screen, Sam dropped behind him. And then there was just huge lag. So nothing either could do about that. And that is really disappointing for Sam gutting he was looking in okay in seventh place trying to fend off these guys as drastic they were running to vapi Koo as, as a result of that as well not sure if that was down to lag but devil picking up a little bit of damage trying to get past Feely though at the same time and it looks like he's done that but he's on the outside now into the hairpin Feely's got a good run out of there and now into the hairpin side by side Feely's got the inside so he should be able to get that done unless drastic devil can get a good exit which he hasn't got a great exit so um, Feely makes that move second now Sam he must be gutted after that lag incident and we've got Justin Midget hounding him as well on the outside here can he pass him this would be a great job on the outside of that corner to even hang it around there is impressive he's going to keep it up the inside this is good balancing from these two league veterans of course and now we've got Midget on the outside of Sam he's going to get the very good exit around very wide and Sam is going to flow through and maintains that position so on board with Casey now as Galvanic's diving up the inside and that's uh, the Mardi Midget off and out of the race. So Galvanic game, I'm not sure he looked to cut across on the Mardi Midget there. And Mardi Midget's in the wall and he's out of this race. So uh, he was in the top running. He was fifth place at the time. And to lose it like that is absolutely good. And Gestrin Zink has been taken up by lag as well. He's also out of the race. So casualties falling here early on in the Chinese Grand Prix. And what was that? I think it was Elusive Kev who lagged into Nor who already had damage. And wow, incredible, and Noor's lagging back now as Luke's looking up his inside into the hairpin. He's been put off by that greatly, and he's going to lose uh, a lot of time there. Look at Azar, he's flown away already. And now Gavanek's right behind Luke. Luke diving up the inside there, breaking far too late and going in you know, off the track. And Noor is back up into P2, maintaining that position here on lap 3 of the Chinese Grand Prix. DRS now activated for these guys, Kev. Going up the inside of Vapiku using his mirrors quite nicely. I think he's made that move stick. I'm not sure where Vapid is. He might be on his outside here into the left under. He's done a great job to hang it around the outside on those super soft tyres, which is surprising they're in good enough nick to even go around the outside of that corner. Um, at this stage, they'll be on 70% wear ish. So that's a very great job from Vapid to move back up into PA after the Kev had dived up the inside and made that move stick. And Kev right behind Vapid. He's going to get a, try and get a good exit. He should get a better exit than Vapid on those struggling tyres. And he'll have the aid of DRS. He doesn't even need DRS because Vapid's around so wide. Kev's got pretty much the perfect line through there. And Kev is into P8. So it's been a pretty promising start. And he's not too far behind Devil who has damage. So it wouldn't be surprising if we see Kev moving up to P7 quite shortly. And Vapid, cool. Oh my goodness. Well, he didn't have DRS but... The sheer slipstream and the sheer straight line speed of that Force India. Even for cars, but wow, he must have been long, running very low wings to be able to make that move. So good. And look at that. Silent Mole set the fastest lap of the race of a 37.8. So I'm not sure if he's made the move into P2 yet, but he is on a charge. And here we go. He's just set the purple middle section. You can see them in the bottom left-hand corner. And now he's right behind Nori. He is going to get DRS on lap three. And his tyres are in great nick. And Nor's moved across quite late there, but Luke has managed to easily pass him. And that is second place for the season five champion. Don't think he's been able to do it this season. This he's only doing about six rounds, but that is still him up into P2. We're looking to do as much as he can with the time that he has. And he is now into P2, and we'll see him set the fast up the race. No, not quite. And Justin Midget's gone on the outside of Budgie. Looks like a DRS pass for the Williams, but he's gone very, very wide, dipping it into the grass. That's not what you want to do. Budgie's followed him wide as well. So these two both making similar mistakes and that means Justin Midget has managed to maintain the position. As we said, 
Kev and Gawanic game his pit you can see that at the top he lost a lot of time I can tell you on that lap on lap 4 he lost a whole bunch of time on those tyres and I told you Kev would be battling double shortly and that's exactly what he's done he's got past him with the DRS and an elusive Kev up in 6th place doing a tremendous job in that Sauber and we're on board now with Sam but he's going to be one of the first man I think on the soft tyre to come into the pits on lap 6 Looks like it's going to be a medium compound set for him. Wouldn't surprise me if that was the case. This Gavanic game on his new tyres sets the fastest lap. So it is the medium tyres for Sam. As he, where's he going to come out? This could be crucial. Looks like to be probably free air. Kev is just ahead of him, but he's gone onto the soft tyre, it looks like. So that's a surprising um, move from Kev. Maybe thinking the medium tyres can go a long, long way because I don't think that those tyres are going to go very long. And look at that, he's already got a penalty for cutting that corner somehow and now he's gone very wide into the grass and Sam's going to easily go past him so Kev was looking promising but he's made a big mistake there and he's dropped right down the order so we can see the order there Casey hasn't pit yet Azar's in the pits now Feely hasn't pit either but Luke and Azar both going into the pits looks like on lap 7 into 8 and it will be the medium tyres for Luke as he gets out there about 2.6 seconds pretty good pit stop but you can see the trainer 3 in the bottom left hand corner there and where he'll get out will be crucial to this race. Midget has run very wide and that's allowed North straight through. And his teammate Galvanic game, I'm not sure if he'll fight him in on lap 7. We'll see in a moment. He's run very wide once again. Surprised he didn't get a penalty or warning for that, sorry. And it looks like he's probably going to uh, let Galvanic through. Yes, he is. We can see Luke there. And he's fallen behind. So disaster for Luke. Azar is well ahead of North. So gap of only 3 seconds between those two. And, well, look at the luck there. Aesop's got out ahead. Luke's got out behind. And that is very annoying for Luke, who was very close at one stage to Aesop. He's drastic midget. Trying to help his teammate here by forcing Luke wide there. Luke coming to back out after he initially made the pass. But Midge, midget held it around the outside to maintain the position. He's now slightly cut that corner. That's going to allow Luke to get a much better exit. He's going to try and dart to the outside. This is brave move here on the outside of this corner. But Midget's on the grass, and he's going to understeer into Luke and that's a shame for Drastin Midget he dipped onto the grass which forced him into Luke Luke gave him just about enough uh, space I think there and that means Drastin Midget is going to fall well down the field Sam looking at his recovery drive after that lag, unfortunate lag incident he's now going to try the same move as Luke tried on Midget and he's going to make he's going to pull this off without the aid of Budgie going into the grass so Sam making a very impressive move there into P9 and hopefully for him uh, a recovery in waiting but yeah, Azar reactions gaining big time from that pit stop. I think the gap was only about 1.2, 1.5 seconds going into the pits. So for Luke to lose two positions there will be gutting for him. But this is good for Azar and this is brilliant for Sam, his teammate. As Sam breezes past Vapiku with the use of DRS. And yeah, as I said, the recovery is continuing. He's now into seventh position unless Vapiku can try and dart down the inside, which he has. Very late breaking from the Force India and Sam's going to get a mega, mega exit, but Vapid. Not sure if he utilised traction control there, but that was a very impressive exit from him there despite running so deep. And Vapid has done an amazing job there to maintain that position, but surely it'll only be for a matter of time. Sam on the outside, easy move for him. And that is P7 once again for the Ferrari man. Finally, looks like making the move for good, but he's gone very wide. He's going to allow Vapid right back up the inside. Can he do it? Sam hanging it around the outside though, and now is the inside for this corner. And if he can get a good enough exit, he should have him on the run down to the hairpin and Vapid's not got the best of exits so that should be moved on and it is it's now got a nice spectator cam here of the four leaders Luke hasn't lost out that much to be honest and now Nor is right behind Gavanic Gamer Gavanic Gamer clearly has, has passed the uh, Red Bull man and now they're going to go into the hairpin Luke's trying to get involved as well but he's not quite going to be able to get that done Nor up the inside is he going to try and force Gavanic Gamer yes he is they've both gone off and that's Luke gleefully has taken that position into P2. And how big for this race could that be? Nor has gone very deep. Looks like looks like the, him and Galvanic were locked together. And unfortunately for them, they've both gone wide. And they've both lost the position to Luke. So Luke into P2. Nor P3 now. And Galvanic has lost two positions. Once again, like earlier, down into P4. But Azar reactions still leads by about two seconds now. And we'll go on board with Luke to see really what happened here. So he's going to break nice and early. He doesn't want to get involved in this scrap. Because we'll see what happens there. Nor going very wide. Gavin again trying to hang it around the outside. But no can do. And Luke, well, he welcomes that, doesn't he? He's into P2. And now his job will be try to chase down Galvanic Gamer. Uh, sorry, Azar Reactions. And on board at Galvanic Gamer now. You can see that Luke moving across very, very late. 
on uh, Noor. And look at this, Galvanic Games just dive bomb Noor as well. A brilliant late breaking move from him. But Noor's going to hang it on here around the outside. Galvanic Games breaking so late that managed to get it slowed down very impressively. Noor is right behind him here. Surely he's going to get the use of DRS. He doesn't even need it. Looks like he's going to draft past him here around the outside. But Galvanic Yemen also has DRS on Luke. Noor hanging it around the outside and so on. But he can't quite get that done. Oh yes he has, he's maintained it, this is superb driving from these two, this will be helping Luke very much to try and get away, Noor's got the inside for this corner, he's going to try and pull, push Galvanic wide and that's exactly what he does, no contact this time between these two, and it has Noor finally got that P3 sorted out, maybe on board with Galvanic here, he's going to look around the outside once again later on the brakes, can he get a good enough exit to hang it around the outside, this is superb battling between these two on lap 14 of the Chinese Grand Prix. Surely he can't get there, surely he's too wide for the yes he is, and that is that all done. And we've got Justin Midget just about past his time, but Justin Midget once again has exited stage left. And that is him spinning for the third time this afternoon. And well, a, bad, a pretty bad race for him so far, already being round twice has just got a little bit worse. Feely set the fast lap on a super soft tyre, which is an interesting strategy call at this stage of the race. See there, as soon as you get on that grass, it's very, very difficult to come off that. If you put the throttle down, you're likely to spin like we saw there. As a result of that, Justin Midget going side by side with Kev. I think he's just recovered from his spin. And now he's going to surely keep the inside. But Kev very late on the braking. Very impressive. Hand up in frustration there. As Justin Midget slightly made contact with him. But Justin Midget hanging on just about. But now on board with elusive Kev. Good spectator cam here. Not sure who this is, but we've got Kev. Surely going to use the DRS to make a simple passing move on Justin Midget into the hairpin. Here we go. You can see the DRS open just about now. There's the flap opening on the row wing. And he's going to surely make the move. Doesn't look like he's got the best straight line speed. But he is still going to look up the inside into the hairpin. Will there be contact like we saw earlier? Yes, there is. Midget being forced wide. Kev getting a bit of contact as well. But these two are remaining side by side into the final corner. Looks like Midget's going to take the position. And this is a scrap over P9 at the moment. Go on board with Kev to see what happened into the hairpin. So Kev looking to get up the inside, going very deep, slightly making contact with Justin Midget. But Midget maintained that position around the outside and Kev could do nothing into the final corner. But he'll be looking to try and generate a good enough exit to force a move into turn one. But it looks like he's gone just a little bit too um, tight into the apex and that is that for him. So Justin Midget coming in on lap 21 from ninth place. It's been a disappointing day out for him so far but maybe this last stint will bring happy things for him he goes on to the soft tyre, the Pirelli soft tyre um, definitely the best tyre for the last six laps, super soft probably wouldn't last enough time, is he going to come out in P10 and he'll be looking to take this final point, that's what he wants and that looks like what he's going to get and we've got Casey here, he's right behind, looks like Galvanic Gamer, he's on the soft tyre and Galvanic on the medium tyre Galvanic pitting very early for his second pit stop because of um, going on the super soft at the start means he, means he can't go on the softs at the end like the other guys such as Luke, Azar, Noor and Casey and Casey will he look up the inside into turn one, uh, turn one sorry the hairpin yes he will and that should be a simple move but Galvan is going to get that superb traction out of there but Casey on the inside is the favourite for this corner but Galvan is favourite to get a better exit it looks like Galvan again went into the pits for the super soft tower I think that is so that's the end of his podium or fourth place push and where will he come out in comparison to Sam? They're going to be very, very close. Sam should have him on the outside. And yes, he has. So Galvanic in sixth, but you'd expect him to be able to pass Sam for fifth place. And that's what we're seeing here on lap 20. All the super soft will have ten times the grip of those old mediums. At the moment. Maybe, maybe even more grip. I feel like a hundred times better grip. And this should be a fairly simple move for Galvanic with the DRS. Probably wouldn't even need it, but he's going to deploy it nonetheless to get that extra speed boost. Doesn't look like he's got the greatest straight line speed though because he's only just catching up with Sam but he's on the outside. Will he be able to make the move? He's a long way back and he's going to try and hang it on the outside but he can't because Sam has maintained the inside very nicely. He'll have to do it again though into the final corner. Oh, we'll see Galvanic sweeping around the outside. He's going to surely look just to get a good exit and run down to turn one in the draft in the slipstream but he can't get it done and once again he's stuck behind him on lap 25. Not sure what the situation with penalties is between these guys, but it's looking good for Galvanic if he can just get a good exit out there. Look at him, he's right behind him now. Surely it's only a matter of time. However, the DRS is open 
And will it be the inside or the outside? Looks like the inside for the hairpin. Here we go, side by side. Great camera group, but Gavanek backing out of it before the braking down. That's surprising. Is he going to get a good enough exit to challenge into the final corner? Doesn't look like he will. But once again, we'll be looking for a good exit to try and get him on the way down or into turn one. But doesn't look like he did that either. And now lap 26 is just a replay of this battle once again. But this time he's got a mega exit. And he's on the inside before the DRS is even open. He's looking back into the draft now. And the DRS is wide open. You see the indicator is closing in. He's now on the inside into the hairpin. And will finally Galvanic Gamer make this move? It looks like he will unless Sam can get a great exit. And he hasn't. He's lost the car slightly. And now it's Galvanic Gamer finally into P5. Wow. Good bit of battling between those two, but Galvanic was always the favourite, and that is it. Azar Reactions has taken the victory. Luke tried to put the soft, he put the soft tyre on the end to try and get um, anywhere near Azar. He um, he managed to set the fast lap on those tyres, but unfortunately for him, the tyres were a bit more worse for wear than he thought, and he had to back out with about five laps to go, meaning the gap was a bit larger than it could have been. But you can see there, Sam. I think he had wheel problems, and he's down in eighth place across the line. I'm not sure what happened to him, but I think he had some wheel issues which forced him into the wall going straight on. Just Major coming across the line in P9, so he does get points on a difficult afternoon. But wow, Azar Reactions does take the victory. He takes two in a row this season. And it was a superb, troublesome drive for him. Sorry, trouble-free drive from him. You can see there, he won with a two-slot strategy by seven seconds from Luke. Nor was 11.4 behind, but look at that gap. Just, over, just under a tenth between him and Casey. Galvanic was a long way back in 5th place, for, uh, followed by Vapi Coop and Elusive Kev Sam. Gutting many lag incidents, could have been better for him in 8th. Drastic Midget comes home in ninth. Feely rounding out the top 10 in 10th place. Perez uh, eventually finishing, not sure if he disconnected, but Devil, Budgie and a couple of others managed to not finish. So Azar taking another victory, a superb job by him. Trouble for as I said. And he takes the championship lead by just 1.5 points over Luke. These two look like in a league of their own as we've got North 21.5 points back. Just uh, half a point clear of Casey and Galvanic. Mighty Midget, after just, uh, despite a DNF today, he is still in 6th place. And Sam running out the top 7 despite a troublesome afternoon for him. But we didn't see much of Azar and that's because he was out in front taking a dominant victory. Luke got close, we was within about 3 seconds before he decided to back out. Nor had a very impressive drive and nearly lost it for a wear podium because of penalties, but he couldn't quite do that with Casey just behind him. But, what's next? It is Russia next, and that all sure to be a very fun race. We've got no Azer reactions, so based off the results so far, with the same podium it's now been in the last two races, Azar, Luke and Nor has been the top 3 for the last two races in that order, so Luke Probably the favourite, but you never know what's going to happen on this game as we saw in Russia last year. Lag instance caused absolute carnage. But anyway, guys, that has been the Chinese Grand Prix. And uh, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time out in Russia. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.